After many years of being teased out in data mines, the Avro Shackleton finally found its way into War Thunder. Let's have a look at this iconic plane. The Avro Shackleton is a long-range British maritime patrol bomber from the early 1950s that served for over 40 years in various capacities. It found a home primarily with the Royal Air Force, but also served with South Africa for many years. Development of the Shackleton can trace its roots all the way back to the end of the 1930s. The twin-engined Avro Manchester pre-war medium bomber was eventually developed into the four-engined Avro Lancaster in 1941, which was in turn refined again into the Avro Lincoln in 1944, and then, in 1949, the final version of this family finally took flight as the Avro Shackleton. Considering how successful the Manchester, Lancaster, and Lincoln all were, the Shackleton has a proud legacy to build upon. Among the changes made, were a serious redesign of the bomb bay, the addition of significant electronic equipment, and new engines. The version we have in War Thunder is the Shackleton MR Mark II, which features four Rolls-Royce Griffin supercharged V12 engines driving contra-rotating propellers, a surface search radar system which is unfortunately not active in the game, at least not yet, and an absolutely enormous payload capacity of roughly 15,000 pounds, plus hardpoints for eight unguided rockets. All that payload at BR 6.0 in RB and 5.3 in Arcade. The Shackleton's payload includes 250, 500, and 1,000 pound bombs in addition to the eight rockets. Noticeably lacking are any loadouts for torpedoes, which the Shackleton absolutely did carry out in real life. And honestly, it seems like a really strange oversight not to have them, especially since naval battles are a thing in War Thunder now, and having a torpedo load would allow the Shackleton to perform its actual role as a maritime patrol bomber. But anyway... There's one other important thing to know before we get any further. The Shackleton has very poor defensive armament. It only has a couple of gun turrets, and they have very limited fields of fire. You've got blind spots all over the place, and can end up being very vulnerable to interception. This might be why the Shackleton is at a comparatively low BR relative to how effective it can be in missions, since... If anyone catches you, it's basically time to J out. Prop Bomber gameplay isn't for everyone, and it's important to mention where the Shackleton fits in the tree. This plane is right on the upper end of the prop range, so it's right in that sweet spot where a lot of players are flying arcade battles primarily and haven't yet transitioned to realistic battles for the jet tiers. You can credibly fly the Shackleton out in either arcade battles or realistic battles, but the play style is very different beyond the obvious reasons. Playing in arcade battles with this plane, you can single-handedly win the match for your team if you fly well and get a little lucky. The Shackleton has great flight performance for a four-engined prop bomber, and climbs rather well. If you can get this thing up there and avoid interception, you'll be able to use the enormous bomb load to single-handedly win the match for your team in just a few minutes. Enemy players who know this will carve you out as a priority target, so, as always, climb to win. Flying the Shackleton out into RB missions is honestly a lot more risky. Since you have to go back and rearm at the airfield between bomb loads, you end up tremendously vulnerable to interception on your way down, and most missions usually won't last long enough for you to properly climb up after a fresh takeoff. Add to this, you'll be tiered into enemy level jets much of the time, and that can be a serious problem. The real punch in the gut, though, is the repair cost. Every time you get shot down in the Shackleton and Air RB, 
35,000 silver lions go down with you. Ouch. You're just gonna have to live with this, though, since Gaijin hasn't figured out a game mode to balance heavy bombers and make them otherwise viable, so the repair costs are artificially high on all of the good ones. And the Shackleton is absolutely a good one. If you can survive and manage your bomb drops well, the Shackleton can deliver huge punishment to ground bases and rake in some pretty strong post-battle rewards. If you can survive. The flight performance on this plane is great. It climbs well and has decent speed for a prop bomber and can even wiggle around a little bit to try and avoid interceptor guns. But this is all relative to other prop bombers, so don't be expecting that you can reliably dodge high cyclic rate guns or anything like that. Landing the Shackleton can be tricky. It pulls up the radar bulge, so that's good, and it has good landing flaps, so if you're careful on the throttle, you won't have to worry about approach stalls or anything. Like most other prop bombers, you have to line up long landing runs, which leaves you quite vulnerable to... Yeah, that. Visually, the Shackleton is an odd duck. That radar bulge would be less weird if air-to-ground radar was actually implemented in the game, but until it is, you just get a huge growth on the bottom of your plane that doesn't serve any purpose. The engines look great, but in my opinion, the nose is just weird-looking, and looks more like a car than a heavy bomber. The cockpit is currently a simplistic placeholder, you can tell because it says cockpit placeholder down on the bottom of the screen. So, unfortunately, I can't really give the Shackleton a very high marks overall for its visuals. To close out with the Shackleton, this plane gives you a huge bomb load, and can single-handedly win matches if you live long enough. It also has very strong flight performance relative to other 4-engine prop bombers, and I was honestly surprised at how much I like it. However, the lack of a torpedo loadout annoys me more than it probably should. It's a prop bomber, and this style of gameplay isn't for everyone, and costs an absolutely enormous amount of Silver Lions to repair. Lastly, the plane is just kind of fugly to look at from most angles. The overall verdict on the Shackleton MR Mark II is that it's a highly effective bomber with good performance, if prop bomber gameplay is your thing, check this one out. As always, thanks for watching.